Hey, what's happening guys? I got a question via email from a viewer who I'm not going to identify who said he was having trouble understanding voltage dividers and could I help him you know, make it easier to understand. So I'm going to try because voltage dividers are probably one of the three core circuits in electronics. All right. There's nothing hard about it. There's nothing magical about it. Even the formula itself is simple. Your voltage out is equal to your voltage in times R2 over R1 plus R2. That's the math end of it. We'll get to the practical end of it here in a minute that I think makes it easier to understand. But why do I say it's one of the core circuits? Well, because it's used everywhere. Let's say, for instance, yeah, you have an op amp circuit. And you need a reference voltage here for some type of comparator. And you know, you've got 12 volts, you've got uh, zero volts or ground down here. So let's say you need six volts. Well, what you can do for your comparator is you can make a voltage divider like that. Now you have six volts come in here and you can put your input here and your output there. The same, same holds true when we're dealing with uh, transistors. So if, if we're going to bias a transistor You know, the process is pretty much the same. Then we have our incoming signal here. Now out here. Of course, you know, we would have resistors there and there too, but just getting to the point of that. Okay. Enough with the theory. Let's get down to the the demonstration I think makes it easier to see. Okay, you can see here power supply is set for 10 volts, maximum 200 milliamps, and it is now on. All right, so here we have one, two, three, four, five separate voltage dividers set up. And we're going to bring in a meter. In this case, today's flavor of meter is the Unity. No, it's not a Unity. That's an ANANG AN 8009. Nice little meter. And we'll be using the Fluke TL74 leads. Why? I don't know. I just feel like it today. So, first, let's measure our input voltage. I said, first, let's measure our input voltage. 9.993 we'll call it 10 volts so here is our first voltage divider these are two 1k resistors so we should have half of our input voltage of 10 volts so when we probe here we should get 5 volts 4.991, close enough. Now, here we have two 10K resistors. Again, it's only about the proportion between R1 and R2. The values really don't mean anything when they're equal. Well, it doesn't mean anything either, it's proportional. So, we should get five volts, close enough. 
the values do mean something. If I don't say this, I'm going to get all kind of all kind of mail. That that'll be dealing with current, and that's that's down the line. For our our purposes of demonstrating how the voltage divider circuit works, the values don't matter. It's proportions. So 1k, 10k, both both re, uh, result in a one half voltage divider. Now in this case, we have 10k as R1 and 1k as R2. Take a second, review the formula if you need to. What will our voltage be? Well, it's going to be a 10 to 1 ratio, so we should get about 1 volt here. 910 millivolts. Yeah, close enough. The reason it's close enough and it's not exactly 1 volt is because this is probably not exactly 10K and this is probably not exactly 1K. We have to deal with tolerances. Nothing is ever perfect. Okay, so this is the mirror. We have 1K on top, 10K on the bottom. All right, lock in your votes now. 1 to 10 ratio we should have about 9 volts here, right? There you go, 9.07. All right, so now we have three. So we should have two-thirds and one-third input voltage. So we should get, what, 6.6666 up here? Yeah. And we should get 3.3333 down here, right? So that's really how simple voltage dividers can be. There, there's nothing complicated there. Um, don't worry too much about the math of it. Get yourself some resistors. Set up your own voltage dividers. Um, try and do some of the calculations in your head. And just remember, just think about the percentages. You know, if you put a, a 10K and a 2K, well, then it's going to be 10 to 2. Instead of 1 volt, uh, yeah, instead of, uh, instead of 1 volt, you should have 2 volts. Think about it like that. Put your circuits together, play with them, and I think it'll come to you, and you'll understand, really, how this works. And then, once you do, I mean, it's just, you, you, know, you hit yourself in the head and go, oh, of course. I mean, it's just, it's really simple. Okay? I hope that helped. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, even the ones who left. I've lost uh, three patrons in the last week, which is nothing for most of YouTube, but is huge for me. Um, I'm not removing your names from the patron list because you supported this channel for months, and I appreciate that. So my thanks to you is pretty much eternal. That's it. I'm out. Peace.